Crystidis is a free tool known to tweak computers for best performance. It has good reputation for improving speed and response time for Windows desktops and laptops. Whether you are gaming, editing videos, or doing any kind of work, just applying a couple of tweaks with the Crystidis tool, you'll have a big impact on your PC's performance. Let me show you. Here is my task manager. On the left is my Windows 11 before applying the tweaks and on the right is after applying Crystidis tweaks. You'll see a significant change. Before the processes count was around 100, threads were around 1400 and handles were around 51,000 with memory usage at around 17%. After the tweaks, the processes counts dropped to 88, threads about 1200, and handles to around 41,000, with memory usage dropping to 14%. All right, let me show you how to apply the tweaks. Click on your Windows search and type PowerShell. Right click on Windows PowerShell and select Run as an Administrator. Click Yes to confirm. Now you'll need to type a single command that you'll find in the descriptions below. You can copy it and right click to paste it automatically. After running the command for a few seconds, you'll see the Christidis Tools dashboard. In the dashboard, you'll find different categories like Install, Tweaks, Configure, Update, and MicroWin, which is a new feature for creating a customized blotware free version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. In this video, I'll be focusing on the tweak section. Let's click on it. From the top, you'll find some recommended selections for desktop or laptop. Choose based on what you're using. I'm using a laptop, so I'm going to click on laptop. Underneath, you'll see categories like essential tweaks, advanced tweak, customized preferences, and performance plan. Let's start with the essential tweaks. For each one of these, if you hover over it, it will show you a tooltip with explanations of what it does. You can read each one and make your own decision on whether to select it or not. I'm just going to show you my recommendations. The first option is to create a restore point. I highly recommend that you select this one just in case you want to go back to your original settings. Check the following 10. Run OO shut up, telemetry, Wi-Fi sense, activity history, delete temporary files, run disk cleanup, location tracking, home group, hibernation, and game DVR. For storage sense, it's up to you whether you leave it checked or not. It automatically free up space but you can adjust it in Windows settings. If you go to search and type storage and click on the first result, you would see it here under cleanup of memory files. Under advanced tweaks, it's best to leave the top four options unchecked, but again, you can read each one and make your own decision. For the next three, you can remove all Microsoft Store applications, uninstall Microsoft Edge, or remove OneDrive. For the Customize Preferences section, you can toggle settings like Disabling Dark Mode, Bing Search in the Start menu, and Showing File Extensions. Under Performance Plan, you can select options like Add and activate ultimate performance profile for maximum performance. This option adds the option to select ultimate performance under the power options. If you go to your search and type powercfg.cpl, after you apply the tweak, 
you would see the option available under a section called additional plans. Once you've made all the selections, click on run tweaks to apply the changes. You'll see a PowerShell window pops up and start working on the process. You may or may not see a window asking for a permission. Once all the tweaks are applied, you'll receive a message saying the tweaks are finished. Now simply restart your computer to complete the process. All right, now that our computer has restarted, once the desktop is up, at this time, let's check the task manager to see the difference. Right click on the taskbar and choose task manager. Once it's up, select performance from the left menu. This time, the processes count has dropped from 100 to 88. The threads count is around 1200 and the handles, which were around 50,000 before, have been reduced to 41,000. That is a significant improvement. Now, when you use Windows 11, you'll notice a much smoother experience and those slow performance and lagging issues should have been fixed. If for any reason you wanted to revert back to the original settings, click on search and type restore. From the result, select create restore point. Once you see the system properties, select system protection tab, then click on system restore button. Click on next, and here you can see that the Christidas tool has created a restore point for us. Select it and click next, then click on finish. And just wait for it to restore your settings back to what they were. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Bye for now. Thank you.